Ähm, herzlich willkommen beim Partysein 2017. Auch dieses Jahr sind wir wieder für euch unterwegs und haben uns jetzt mal Apollyon von Aura Noir geschnappt. How are you, first of all? Okay. Uh, I'm good. Good, good. Uh, how does it feel to be back here again? Um, mm, Despite the shit rain outside. Yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, no, it feels good. And um, we're looking forward to uh, see autopsy now at the moment. We just finished uh, our set and it, uh, it was nice. A bit cold, but uh, very good. Yeah, at so, least. So, happy no times. And um, tomorrow, Tom Givoria plays here with Tripticon. Did bands like Hellhammer and Celtic first influence you on what you were doing back in the 90s? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're leaving tomorrow morning, so I cannot watch them. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're nice, uh, nice guys, and I hope to meet uh, m meet them tonight if they show up. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, very important for us the whole Celtic Frost thing. <laughs> mm. And um, last year marked the 20th anniversary of your debut album Black Thrash Attack. Um, if you look back now, does the 20 years feel like they passed by quite quickly or is it more like a fucking long way? Uh, on a scale from uh, one to ten, I would say uh, eight in quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Yeah, I think it was quite groundbreaking because it uh, let you become one of the Black Thrash pioneers. You managed to create something fresh while referring to something old. Um, which which view do you have on that subgenre? Would you say there is an own Black Thrash scene? And would you say Black Thrash is always connected to underground or can it be found also in the mainstream? Uh. No, maybe it's uh, an underground thing. Um, I don't know, we don't uh, label ourselves mm -hmm. black thrash, I guess, any longer. Before it was more important because there was this black metal uh, wave coming out and we wanted to, uh, I don't know, be not, not be part, but on the side, but prove that uh, thrash metal or any music, rock music or whatever could be uh, as vicious and evil and ugly sounding mm -hmm. or even more ugly. It was just not done right for many, many, many years. So for us, like, I don't know, we have discovered uh, stuff like lately because of internet. But for us, maybe up until 86 was uh, in the very start of the whole thrash metal scene. It was... Uh, all the the evil and you know the whole uh, I don't know this, this the early spirit was uh, what we were searching for in our music and we made it in a mm -hmm. kind I don't know we were probably influenced by the whole black metal thing as well uh, with the whole battery and all that but uh, yeah we wanted to basically not sound like everyone else who were copying uh, Dark Throne and Emperor and stuff at the time. We wanted to be something different, but still, uh, yeah, evil or whatever. Yeah, mm. I understand. And um, you play also big festivals like Wagnermeer, for example, but uh, Aura Noir never lost the connection to the underground. Would you agree? Yeah, like Wacken is not really a festival for us. Like we we played there uh, last week. It was uh, a good show and a good turnout even. But for us, uh, it's more uh, I don't know. Like Partisan is more for us uh, yeah. probably. Like, um, but yeah, we uh, I think we will never uh, be anything but uh, under underground. Mm -hmm kind of even yeah but yeah we we play some big big shows here and there it's um many reasons we even our manager you know he manages all these mm. big uh, emperor and all those bands so you know the whole music business is very filthy with all these connections and things going on mm. we just enjoy playing really um but uh yeah but it's important for you to keep the connection to the underground See. Yeah, yeah, it's important, but it, it's also naturally mm -hmm. uh, natural for us to always, uh, yeah, look to the underground. We always like prefer like the first uh, 
the first bands or the the start of things are always the most interesting yeah. in all genres i think so it's kind of uh, more important to look to the underground than the bands who have already released uh, 20 albums and maybe are not so inspiring anymore yeah yeah so we look for inspiration and it's mm, most of the times it's good to do that in the underground mm -hmm. mm. can you find uh, inspiration also uh, despite in the music somewhere else yeah i guess uh, if you go and go for walks always helps uh, <laughs> always <laughs> inspirational yeah but seriously it is i i live in the forest myself and it's mm -hmm. always inspirational but you know get, getting out or uh, i don't know anything can be uh, inspirational for me it's I get a lot of insp inspiration for uh, for wa from walking, and I get stuff in my head, and mm -hmm. I will uh, remember it and sing it on my uh, I don't know whatever mobile or yeah. whatever. And just, okay. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> awesome riff, uh, but um, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, so yeah. So, what about a new album? Can you reveal anything? Is there something? Yeah, it's basically all up to me now. Uh, it has been for uh, half a year or something. We recorded everything. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so uh, what we have, I'm also mixing the album. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're pretty close uh, with the mix. The only thing that's left is I have to sing one more, s one last mm -hmm. song, and then I think we're all done. So uh, we have. Uh, Deadline now for uh, September 1st, which means the album will come out when? Kola? Uh, <laughs> yes, in. This year? February. February? Are you serious? February so, this is how long it takes. Uh, the album will be finished September, and then uh, the release date will be February uh, okay. 2018. That's uh, insane. I don't know uh, why, but. Yeah. But you have a title already, or no, it's everything? No, uh, we uh, we're kind of uh, yeah late with everything <laughs> as usual. Uh, the music comes first, and then everything else. We haven't agreed upon a title yet, but okay. but basically, most ninety five percent is finished. Okay, mm. we're looking forward to it. Mm. Thank you for taking the time. <laughs>